So I'm going to try to make this more entertaining by adding some fun stuff. And I would like to remind people that we just had like a two week frenzy of ship buying, CCU trading, like the real metagame, right? Anyways. Hello, YouTubers. This is Anubifier. There were some significant removals in the roadmap this week on the 1st of December, 2021. I wanted to compare what we have now versus what was there to see how 316 is shaping up. And it's important for you to consider the caveats that CIG puts on all of their publications so that you're not shocked or upset when things do change. This is open development, right? Let's begin with some good news to cheer you up. Everyone loves ships. I took a quick look at the progress tracker to find some good news. And remember, yes, none of this means anything because it's not locked down. But in no particular order, the BMM has a progress bar that ends mid-June 2022. The Drake Vulture has a bar that ends mid-June 2022. The Hall E has a bar that's ending mid-May 2022. The Misk Odyssey, that brand new ship that everyone is talking about that we don't even have a Q&A for yet, has a bar also ending mid-May 2022, which is really neat. But I want my Polaris, right? <laughs> The Origin X1 has a bar that ends mid-June 2022. Scorpius has a bar that ends late April 2022. The Hall A is April, yes, 2022. And the Hall C has a bar that ends mid-March. I'm going to start now with patch 316, which is supposed to be Q4 2021. Character continues to have one tentative list for DNA head update, which basically adds more heads for us to choose with when blending, and that's also said to have better textures. Locations continues to have two listings as committed, that Hero Hospital for Area 18, and an updated derelict spaceship point of interest to explore. Removed from the patch is improvements to AI behavior in shops and kiosks, gameplay continues to list the new mining gadget that's going to boost the effectiveness of your mining systems, there was a removal of tier zero ship to ship refueling, which was supposed to be the start of that game mechanic. They continued to list the updated Arena Commander Dying Star map. That's listed as completed. They continued to list upgrades to how Gravlev work, but they added Jump Town 2 as a new dynamic event that will add some action between Law and Lawless players. I have a full video on that entire thing that's listed right now. Please take a look for that and I will also post it at the end credits and in the description. Rounding out 316 is the listing for the Laser Trip Mine, which was demoed about two months ago on Around the Verse. And honestly, the rest of the release view is mostly unchanged. First quarter 2022 has a single listing in locations, which is the addition of Lorville's main hospital. There's a listing for the Hangar Inventory app, which should come with new ways to manage purchases and gear. Persistent hangars are also listed. Ship to ship refueling is now here in 317. Loot selling V1 is planned to give you a reason to kill everybody and take stuff from them. NPCs have that new taxi mission that was talked about. The Pi team is going to tie in status and inventory. Q2 2022. FPS radar for when dismounted. There are improvements in Pirate and Vandal Swarm. Cargo system refactor is intended to expand the gameplay around what happens when you buy and sell cargo. The cargo will no longer just appear. You'll have to do something with it. EVA T2 is going to bring aspects of IFCS to 0G locomotion. Salvage T0 is here. Is that going to stay? We don't know. There's a listing for the backend support for thicker game mechanics for hacking, zero G push pull, and in closing out, of course, with that salvage, we would also need a salvage attachment for the multi tool. That's it. Short and sweet. Thank you very much for spending your time with me. As a subtle reminder, half of all views are from community members who aren't subscribed. So I would appreciate that, right? It would mean a bunch to me. Anyways, please share. Please suggest the content to a friend. Fly safe, and I'll see you in the verse.